Hey traders, welcome back to our channel. I'm Kenya with BK Trading Academy. And in today's video, we are hopping into our 50 MA sniper strategy. It is so amazing. It's so simple. And I'm going to show you how to execute this approach right at market open. For those of you who have been following, you guys know that I started out as a scalper early in my career. I still love scalping, but I have embraced swing trading more and I like to scalp in between. So I'm going to show you how I find opportunities in the market where I'm looking for a longer target. However, I'm scalping simultaneously. So let's go ahead and hop right in. Make sure you pause the video where you need to take notes. And I'm going to show you how to execute this approach step by step. Let's go. Yeah, I know I got problems and I don't know where to go. I don't want to put the blame on it. All right, we're going to be scalping on the one hour time frame using a 50 period moving average, which requires careful planning and execution. So here is a step by step guide. We're going to start on the daily. We also can reference the weekly time frame. But before we do that, we want to make sure we have a 50 period moving average. So I'm just going to show that on my chart. I like to keep it hidden because I like a nice clean chart. But this line here, what you're seeing is a 50 period moving average. If you simply click on indicators, if you go to trading view or your platform, that you use, you're going to click on indicators and you can just type in moving average and you're going to select smooth moving average. Okay, so smooth moving average is just an SMA. I'm going to click on settings for you and you'll see that my style, I'm just going to leave it the way that it is. You can change the color here. So I have mine's on gray because I have BK colors. And then also you can change how vivid you want this to be. So if you want it to be lighter or darker, you can put it on the thickness, whatever you want, and then you just simply save it. Now, the thing is, once you, if you are on trading view, you want to save this as a template. Once you have this on here, I also like to keep an EMA on here. So I keep that hidden as well. I like to use a 50 and a 20. So you'll see that these are my MAs that I like to keep hidden. But for this particular strategy, we're only using a 50 period moving average. And I'm going to show you exactly how this works. And to save it, you're going to click on these little four squares right here. You're going to click on save indicator template, and then you're going to name the template. That way, when you want to pull this up each and every time, all you have to do is click on whichever one you want, and then it will pull up. So I am on the daily time frame, And the very first thing, step one, what we need to do is we need to refer to the daily weekly time frame for our analysis. You're going to begin by analyzing the trend on the daily and weekly time frame. So notice on GJ, the trend is upward on the daily. And if I go to the weekly, it is clearly upward on the weekly. Look how far above price is also trading at the 50 period moving average. So preferably, I don't like to trade in an uptrend when price is too high. I prefer to be selling when price is so high. However, you also need to understand fundamentally what's happening with these pairs. And if you understand that the yen is still very weak, then you would be buying the pound dollar. So now that I know that, one thing that you'll notice on this weekly time frame is that we have a previous resistance right at 19116. That area has become somewhat of a support here, although we dip below to form support at 19010. So I'm keeping in mind of that and I'm going to continue to drill down. So I know I have an uptrend on the weekly. I have an uptrend on the daily. So preferably, I want to be looking for long opportunities to trade with the overall trend. Now, today, before market open, what I did was I marked my level. So one thing you're going to notice is that this definitely would have been an area that you would have looked for when price was coming down. So look how we had a previous bullish impulse on the daily. Price then reverted to come back to the previous level of structure that was broken, but it dipped a little bit lower to form support right within this area. And notice that this area right here at 19038 was also previous support. It was almost resistance a little bit below it, but we did retest to form support again. We dipped a little bit below it and then we pushed back up. So this is an area that we definitely want to watch if price is hovering around here. So the first thing you always want to do is look for market direction. What is the overall market direction, preferably on the daily because we're scalping within that particular day. Sometimes we need to refer to the weekly for reference as well. So you're going to look for confluence factors such as major support and resistance levels, trend lines. For example, if I take my trend line and I simply just connect my swings. I obviously have a trend line and I can also see that with my naked eye. So now that we have identified our levels on the higher time frame, the next thing we need to do is just confirm our support and resistance. So we have a level below price. So we have a level where price is right now. And we also want to find a level above price as well. So if I were going to clone this and find a resistance level, where clearly if we buy at this support, 
we're also going to see that this was previous resistance. So if we scalp somewhere within this area, then we want to definitely take profit between our entry and the next reversal point. We also look left. This could be an area as well where price could come to and bounce. So we want to keep that in mind. So now that we have those things in mind, we now can make sure that we add our 50 period moving average. So you can see that I have my 50 MA on here. If I want to keep it hidden, I can just click the I, remove it. If I want to put it back on, I just click show and it will show it again. Now that we've identified the overall trend, we've identified support and resistance level. We also have our 50 period moving average. The next thing we're going to do is wait for price to approach near the 50 MA and near the level that we want to trade. So at market open, what you're going to do is you're going to move down to the two hour or the one hour, preferably the one hour, okay? I want you to see here how price was trading above the 50 period moving average. Now keep in mind, my level is down here. This is where price was right here at market open. So it started to grow from about 19083. I also like to refer to the two hours sometime as you can see on the two hour, if I'm scalping within the current hour or the first two hours, then I'm going to refer to the one hour or two hour because I'm looking to stay, I'm looking to scalp within that period of time frame. So notice how on this two hour price is above my 50 period moving average. My, my zone is right below it. And look how price started to build on the two hours. So one thing you want to make sure that you have is volume. You want to make sure I'm just going to do a replay really quickly. And we're going to start here. And this is what price was doing. Okay. So notice how we had smaller candles, smaller candles. And then we appear to have a bullish breakout right here where price is crossing the two hour 50 MA. Well, if I go down to the one hour, you can see clearly price broke out and started rising on the one hour. So if you have a level that is marked, you're going to start on your one hour. And as long as you see volume or a buyer stepping in and you're buying in an uptrend, you are going to enter. We have a bullish trend. Price is above the 50 period moving average in the uptrend. Maybe we see wick rejection in the zone. Price is moving in the direction of the overall trend. That is what we want. Now, the next thing that we need to talk about is our stop loss. We must always have a risk plan before we enter the trade. So let me show you exactly where you are going to place your stop. No if ands, and buts about it. If you don't use a stop, because sometimes you don't even have time to use a stop loss. It just depends on the situation. But I'm going to show you how I like to manage risk. And I have a few different approaches based on what I see and what I feel price could do. When I'm scalping or swing trading, I preferably like to spread out my stop loss and lower my lot size. I find that it gives me more advantage when I'm scalping. I don't like to use humongous lot sizes because you don't have much room for buffer when you are scalping. So you need to put yourself in a position where you have multiple options if the trade goes against you and you can put yourself in a position to come out profitable no matter what happens. Now, yes, you're probably going to make less profits in the amount of time that you're trading, but I found that this definitely is a wise approach to the market and helps you live to trade another day. So for your stop loss, your rules are your stop loss will go below your 50 period moving average and outside of your trend line. Let's say, for example, it's market open you sit down and you see that price is rising and it's already started taking off. And if we measure with our ruler from this support at 19058, price took off about 30 pips to the upside. So we don't want to be negative if price were to pull back. So instead, what you want to do, find a pullback at least 50% way of this candle. So I would have gotten at like 19070 to 90. If price would have come back down to this support here, so let's say it pulled back. So we see that buyers are stepping in, obviously. If price pulls back, I I would execute another entry, maybe somewhere around 19059. I would put my stop loss below the one hour structure or below the 50 period moving average. So this way, if price does roll back right here, to 19059. Let's say you put your stop loss below that. You can even put your stop loss below the previous swing low. So notice that this is our low here and it, this is our next low right here. So you could put your stop below that. You just want to make sure that your potential profit outweighs your risk. So in this case, if we got in here and let's say we used a stop loss of maybe 20 pips or so, and keep in mind that we had an earlier entry, but our hope is that this would get us in on the second entry. Price then goes our way. So from this support, to our next reversal area, 
is about 30 pips. And that's really all you need for scalping. But let's say if you wanted to intraday trade or scalp, this is how I opt for a longer target. So if I'm already scalping and I take positions off the table, if I feel that this is going to keep going, and let's say, for example, I go to the daily and I see that overall we are still in a bullish trend. We also have a bullish flag pattern where price has pulled back in this uptrend. And now we're getting another bullish breakout. So if I think that this could possibly keep going and maybe do something like this, where we break above resistance, come back and retest, and then we continue to push higher, I could simply leave one of my positions running, move my stop loss into profit. So what I mean by that is that on the one hour, if you entered it at 19059 and you took off five scalps, but you have one position running, if you think that this is possibly going to reach this next high here, for example, and you want to leave it running to see if it's going to hit, you would move your stop loss to about 19061. That way, if price does come back all of a sudden and it hits your stop loss, you will get stopped out and profit with enough to pay commission and spread to your broker. So here's our trend line on the one hour. We also have an uptrend on the daily. We are trading with the overall direction of the trend. Price has pulled back to our previous resistance, now turned support. We're trading above the 50 period moving average and we have nice confluence for a scalp. What we do is keep a close eye on the trade once entered. You consider scaling out of the position as price reaches certain profit targets and that helps you to reduce risk. And then you be prepared to exit the trade if the market conditions change or if your trade becomes invalidated. So that means if price were to suddenly drop, breaks our trend line support, and then also crosses the 50 period moving average, then you know that the trade is becoming invalidated. And this is GJ this morning. <laughs> so this turned out to be a beautiful trade we hit all targets, all five TPs. You can see as of today, I dropped this trade. This is the same day as this recording. I put multiple targets. So I typically will give scalp targets and an intraday target. We hit all targets and yeah, everyone was happy. So these are all of our wins. All trophies are wins for our signals. And if we hit a stop loss, then we usually will have a red little circle. We haven't had any losses in a moment. Typically, when we do hit a stop loss, that means that none of our TPs have hit. But once a trade becomes blue, it is then on you and we have a 90% win rate with our signals. So the beautiful thing about this is that every time we execute a trade, we give you explanation of why we're taking that trade. We also keep you updated in another room here where we have notes and we let you know exactly what we're doing. So that is the MA Sniper strategy. It's very reliable. It works. And what I recommend is that watch this video again and just go through each step that I laid out for you. Step one, step two, step three. Make sure your rules are very clear. You always want to make sure that you have rules and you have confluences that back up those rules. And that is why you enter the trade every single time. And then you want to go, you journal these setups. You want to take screenshots of the trade every phase of it because that will give you the confidence to trade the setup over and over again. As you trade it, you will also have strong instincts of when to cut a loss on a trade or when you know it becomes invalidated. So guys, let me know in the comments if you're going to try out this strategy. If you like it, it's very simple, it's profitable, it's easy. And like I said, this is best to trade during market open when that volatility is obvious and you see that buyers or sellers are stepping in. If you are shorting the market, you are going to do the same rules in the reverse direction. It's very, very simple. So I hope this helps you. If you are new here, subscribe to our page, turn on the notification bell, and you will get notified every time we release a video. Also, come and join our Telegram because we drop a lot of helpful things in there. You can also see updates from our trading view ideas. You can follow some of the trades that we trade. And if you are a new or struggling trader, I invite you to come and join our awesome community. We have everything that you you need to be successful strategies, risk management, handheld guidance, signals. We have everything that you need to be a successful trader and you'll hear many of our testimonials say that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Yeah, I know I got problems and I don't know where to go. I don't want to put the blame on you.